welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. There were a lot of changes and like personal things going on, but I am back and I am really, really excited. In today's video, I have this very bronzy eyes and glossy lips. I just wanted something for the summer. It's been really, really hot here in San Diego and I haven't worn makeup in like a week because it's so hot that I feel like my face is just gonna melt off. Um, but I really wanted to film this look today and I'm about to head to a baseball game so I'm quite excited so yeah before we get started please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't I would really really appreciate it and yeah let's go ahead and get started with the video I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids and I'm using my shape tape concealer I'm trying this whole um, doing my eyes first instead of my face because I've had experiences <laughs> with doing my face first and then my eyes and then I have so much fallout and then my foundation gets a little ruined and I get frustrated and ugh. so I'm trying this method <laughs> so and I'm just gonna take a vanilla shade color to just set my lid. I apologize in advance for my lighting if it like changes a little bit. I'm using natural sunlight today. Natural sunlight. I'm just using my window to film. So I'm going to be using my Morphe um, 3502 um, palette. I'm going to do a really bronzy look. I kind of want to keep it matte so I don't know. We'll just go along. You know sometimes the other day I was like oh I really want a natural look. And then I started and I ended up with like glitter and it was just, yeah. So I'm going to take the color Universal and I'm just going to take this Morphe M504 and blend that on my crease. I was watching um, Rob Be Beauty Christie the other day and she was talking about how she used to watch like Jacqueline Hare, Jack, Jacqueline Hill and how um, in one of Jacqueline's videos she mentions that um, blend until your hand hurts. She's like, oh, and it, you know, like she's self-taught or um, ja uh, not Jacqueline Hill, Robbie D. Christie. And she was like, and that actually works. And yeah, so if you're learning um, or you want to learn how to do makeup, really that's I think one of the best advice that I've gotten is to blend until literally like your hand um, hurts <laughs> and then blend some more today's Friday and I'm gonna go to a base base baseball game um, so haven't done my makeup the whole week it's been so hot in San Diego so hot like I'm, I'm a very dramatic person <laughs> and so like yeah people call me very like sometimes I can be really dramatic and like it's just too hot for me like right now I am sweating so much um, I usually like shower at night and then um, with like cold water just so that I can have just so that I can fall asleep because it's just it's so hot I'm gonna take the color contour and this is a Sigma E35 and I'm just going to apply that on top of that universal color and I'm going to pick a little bit of the color brick and apply that on my outer corner. More of a, this color is more of a like orangey, like brick color. So I'm just putting it all over my lid on my crease. And then I'm just gonna take a clean E40 brush and I'm gonna just blend my edges. I'm 
And these colors are definitely going to bring out, if you have green eyes or like hazel eyes, um, it's definitely going to bring out that like pop of green. And now I'm going to take a wipey and I'm just going to clean this fallout. Now we're going to go ahead and start with our face. I'm going to be taking this um, e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. And I'm just going to take a little bit. This gets a little bit like tacky and I've noticed that it helps um, like my foundation like to like stay in place. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal True Match uh, Super Blendable in the color W3. And if you have oily skin like me, um, this is definitely an amazing foundation. Um, it stays on for a long time. This is usually the foundation I wear whenever I go to like Disneyland because it really like stays in place. I kind of feel like wearing eyeliner but then I'm going to be outside. I don't want to risk on my forehead. I'm already sweating, like I feel the sweat coming through my foundation. For my concealer, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the color Light Neutral. What's your favorite? concealer. Mine definitely is the Shape Tape. Um, I actually don't find concealers like they don't crease on me so that's not like a huge deal to me. Um, but for me it's more like the coverage that they give me. I'm going to be setting my concealer and um, the places where I know like I get more oil with my RCMA No, Co uh, no Color Powder. And I'm going to take another beauty blender, which I only use that one for like my powder. And I'm just going to set my under eye. My nose, definitely I need to set my nose because that's where I get most, most oily. And then my chin. Believe it or not, my chin gets so oily. Like, so oily. I'm gonna take my powder, and this is the Studio Mac Fix in the color R R <laughs> NC35. And with my Bor Morphe E34, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and then just staple it on my skin. Just set the rest of my face. I'm gonna move on to bronzing up my face a little bit and I'm gonna take this um, Milani uh, medium tan face powder and just to tan myself a little bit I want a really tan look just I really like this brush it's from elf and it's just like a fan like a fat fan brush okay so now I'm gonna contour my face a little bit I'm gonna take my crown uh, crown tan color contouring palette and I'm going to take um, the color this color right here and I'm just gonna grab a little bit on the Morphe Y9 And then I'm gonna run a little bit down the nose. And for blush, I'm gonna take the Milani Baked Blush in the color Bellissimo. Uh, Bellissimo. And it's such a gorgeous 
um, orangey it has a lot of like bra uh, gold shimmer so I'm gonna apply that with the Luxie 516 And then for highlight, I'm gonna take the Master Chrome um, by Maybelline, and this is in the color Molten Gold, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. It picks up a lot of pigment. It's not like glittery. Can you see that? Okay, so next I'm going to put on some mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I really like this mascara. It really helps like separate your lashes. I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm gonna skip the bottom shadow for today. Now moving on to my lips, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I want this to be very bronzy and uh, like natural. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box. And I would really appreciate if you would were to leave a comment down below with any video suggestions that you guys want to watch here on my channel. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!